If you're creating a first-person shooter game, there's many things you'll need in order to make it good, but one of the most important things in the first-person shooter genre is a weapon. Weapons comes in forms such as guns or melee weapons. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own gun. Alright, so in Unity, there's two ways to create a weapon. There's raycasts, and then there's projectiles. Raycasts are pretty much just a line going through space, it's math pretty much, while projectiles you're actually spawning something in and then doing calculations to see if it collides with anything. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use raycast. Alright to get started we can simply go to our player, create a new object under the camera and call it something like weapon holder. You need to give it a fancy name so you know what it is later. And then we can just create a simple cube and call it like gun or something because this is going to be a gun. We can just scale it down a little bit. I'm just going to copy and paste these values here and then just like move it over here or something. Make it a little bit smaller like so, point 11. So we have our gun now. All right, we can create a new C sharp script and call it something like gun. You want to make sure to give it a fancy name so we know what to call it later down the line. Alright, Visual Studio Code is opening on my other monitor, and once you launch Visual Studio Code, you should see something like this. Alright, we need to import something, but this is this only needs to be imported if you want our weapon to show the ammo on the screen. So we can do using Unity Engine, not Unity Editor, Unity Engine dot UI, like so, and then in the in a semicolon. There's many variables we need to declare. The first one is our camera, because we'll be sending this raycast from our camera, so we'll need a reference to the camera. So to do that, we can simply type public camera, and then call it something like main camera. We want to make sure to give it a fancy name so we can refer to it later down the line. And then there's two ints we need. This is the start ammo and the current ammo. So public int start ammo. And then public int current ammo. Like so. And then we can make another float and call it the fire delay. Public float fire delay. Like so, and then we can create another float. This is called the next time to fire. This will be a private float because we don't need any other script to access it. So we can just create that real quickly. Call it something like next time to fire. Real simple name. And there's a, another float we need to create, and this is the range variable. So if you're playing a game like Call of Duty, many weapons have ranges on them, and it, if the enemy is outside that range, it won't do any damage. So this is what this variable is. Alright, we need a reference to the UI text. We'll create that later and just call it something like ammo text. And then we need a boolean and it says is reloading. This is just a simple check to see if the weapon is currently in a reloading state. So you can type in public bool is reloading like so and then we also need the public float reload time so in many games like call of duty and half-life when you're reloading a gun there it doesn't always reload instantly there's always a wait time so this is pretty much what this float is all right and then our start we can say current ammo is equal to the start ammo like so and then in our update function, we need to do a check if is reloading is equal to true. We want to return. This will prevent the script from running while it's reloading. This will essentially allow us to not shoot while it's in the middle of a reloading state. And then we need another if statement and say if input dot get mouse button down. No, just get mouse button. And then we can say zero. And then and and time dot time is less than the next time to fire. And we can say next time to fire is equal to the time dot time plus the fire delay. 
and then we also need to call a shoot function we will create this one later visual studio is auto filling it creating some errors but we'll fix it later once we create the function all right so we can create the shoot function now by typing in public void shoot in case you want another script to access it or otherwise you could use private void shoot all right we can finally open close parentheses for those and in our shoot function we want to create pretty much a raycast hit variable so we can actually get information from the object that the raycast hit we can do this by typing in raycast hit and then just calling it something like hit and we can say if physics dot raycast and then we can say main hammer dot transform dot position this will essentially tell it to tell the raycast to start from the main camera's position and then we also need the main camera main camera dot transform dot transform direction and then do vector three dot forward this will essentially tell it to send the raycast out in front of the camera so because we don't want to be shooting the enemies from behind we don't want we want to be able to see them so that's what we use the vector three dot forward for and then there's one more and then we need to do out not procedural texture out hit and then we can just type in range this is essentially telling it to use the range and then we can open close bracket now we can just do a simple debug dot log and say it's something like hit dot collider dot name this will essentially tell it to print out the name of the object we hit in the console so once we run the script, we can actually see that it would do that. And then we can do current ammo minus minus. This is taking one ammo away from the current ammo. And then we can say ammo text dot text is equal to the current ammo dot to string plus a slash and then plus the plus the start ammo dot to a string. So we're adding a slash between the current ammo and the start ammo this will essentially make something in the ui display the current ammo we have and then we can do if current ammo is equal to zero we can do start per routine and then call it reload we'll create this one later like right now okay so we can do public ie numerator and call it something like reload reload like so and then we need to set the is reloading is equal to true is reloading is equal to true and then we need to return some seconds so we need to do yield return new wait for seconds and then we can do the reload time like so and then we can do is reloading is equal to false current ammo is equal to the start ammo and then the ammo text dot text we can just copy and paste this from up here this will essentially add in a fill save so if it doesn't automatically update the text it will now and then we can actually assign this the correct function name like so and then we can go back into unity let unity compile it and then we can assign all the variables we need so we can assign the main camera variable to the camera we can just choose a start mo3 and a current mo3 we can add like a 0.25 i believe it's milliseconds or maybe it's seconds i'm not quite sure just like a 15 range a one second reload time and we'll actually need to create this text so we can come up here right click and click on ui and then text and just call this something like ammo text like so and then we can give this something like three out of three and go into our scene view enter 2d viewport mode zoom all the way out just increase the font size a little bit and change the organization of it 
increase the size of the box and just increase it like so and then we can set that to the bottom right hand corner and maybe make the color like white or something and then come back down to our ammo text and assign that and then once we press play everything should be working and it is working we can see that it's printing out the ground variable in our console it reloads so once we've depleted the magazine and the fire delay is working so if you found this video informative be sure to leave a like and subscribe it always helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others fun newbert out